I'm here to share with you guys my very first project for Shabby is Chic Boutique. This store is um, owned by Amy Love, and here's her information. I will also have this information in the description box below so you guys can check out her store. She has a lot of beautiful trims and different items, um, and she would really help your Shabby Chic projects come together. So I will leave um, also a link to my design team package so you can check out everything that was included in my package. And check out her store. Um, if you are a Shabby Chic designer, um, you must go visit her store and see what Shabby goodness um, she has for you. So what I decided to create, I decided to create my very first loaded envelope. So this was super fun and I think I'm going to create another one. So I really enjoyed um, creating the loaded envelope. So um, this is what I use for the base of the loaded envelope. I use a photo document mailer and you can see the measurements there. And what I like about using this as um, the base is very sturdy. So this is a wonderful alternative if you want something in a larger size as well as very, very sturdy. What I did basically, all I did was just cut off the um, flap. That's basically all I did for that. So um, let me um, go over all of the beautiful trims um, that I use from Amy's store. I'm not gonna unload um, the envelope because I have a video on some of the um, handmade embellishments already. I'll also link that video below if you wanna check out all of the embellishments that I made, but I'm not gonna unload all of that um, today. So I'm gonna share with you the trims that I used. So um, I decided to go with the little fold out on the front of the loaded envelope. And I use some beautiful, um, I'm gonna bring it closer, you can see it. I use some beautiful applique, um, sequence applique trim on the fold out portion of the loaded envelope. And those tr that trim is available in um, Amy's store. Also here on the front um, of the fold out piece, I use some tool from my stash. And then I also use um, this mini um, foam roses. Um, these come in white, and what I did, I just painted it with some acrylic paint, some soft pink acrylic paint. And I used some of this hard trim to accent the, um, the little mini rose there. Also on the loaded envelope, I'm gonna go here. These trims are from her store as well. This beautiful heart um, trim, as well as the beautiful tool. This is the pink folded tool that's available in her store. So I decided to go with that as well. It is very soft and it really brings that shabby chic girly feel to your project. So I use this um, layered piece here in the tool also on, on this front pocket. So the loaded envelope has two pockets here. And then here at the bottom of the um, loaded envelope, I have some more of that sequence trim. And you can see just how beautiful that trim is. The paper that I used for my loaded envelope came from the Bella Rose, and that's a, a first edition paper. So here's the front of the loaded envelope and it is jam-packed with goodies. And that's another reason why you may want to um, use something on a larger scale because you can really, really stuff it with some goodies. So I'm gonna turn the loaded envelope over to the back and you'll see all the goodies there. And I basi basically use the same folded pink trim and that beautiful um, heart trim right there on the top. And then also on the bottom, I use some more of that sequence um, applique. 
simply, simply beautiful. I also use texture paste. I love to use texture paste on my Shabby Chic projects because it tones down the paper and give it more of a shabby feel. So um, one thing that I do want to share in the um, loaded envelope that I used, I thought was kind of neat, was um, I saw this card um, in like Dollar Tree or something like that. And I love this little sugar cookie um, that was on the card. So what I did, I just cut that image out of the card and put it inside of my loaded envelope. And I made just a cute little tag out of it. And I also put a sticker there that says, Be Mine, and then it has Valentine. So I thought that was a cute little addition. Um, you can always find little um, embellishments or um, additions to add to your projects by looking at, you know, other items like greeting cards. So um, this is what I have as my first design team project. I hope you guys like it. I definitely had a lot of fun creating it. And um, yeah, so that's what I decided to create. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer so you can take a good look at it again. You can see all of the texture paste on it. You can see the sparkle from that um, sequence applique. And I just love it. And it really has a really nice shabby chic feel um, to the loaded envelope. And I use one of those fun little stern sticks, I guess you call it, from Target that says Happy Valentine's Day. But this was just a lot of fun. And I love the size of this. It's just a really, you know, a larger scale to really be able to stuff it jam-packed with goodies. So that is my first DT project for Shabby is Chic Boutique. Make sure you guys check out the store and pick up some Shabby goodness. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.